Uh, hello dear students, uh, today we will start a new example about the buckling analysis on beam, stress analysis on beam. Uh, we have uh, this beam affected, loaded by 10 Newton from upper end and fixed from the lower end, the bottom end. Uh, its length is 100 meter. Uh, we will use the uh, beam 188 as the element type for this example. The modulus of elasticity is 2.1 to the power of 5. Uh, portion ratio 0.3, density 7.8 to the power of 9, minus 9. The beam section has the 0.1 B and 0.2 H. Uh, let we start in answers as regular from preferences, structural. Okay, for preprocessor element type, we will select beam to node 188. This element doesn't need for real constant, so go directly to material models, structural, linear, elastic, isotropic, and put 2.1 e to the power of 5 for elasticity, modulus of elasticity, portion ratios 0.3, okay, the density 7.8, e to the power of minus 9, okay, done for the material models definition, now for the beam, as I said, we need to go to common section of the beam. It is square section with point 0.1 B and point 0.2 meter for H. Okay. So the beam is defined already. Let me show you the preview for this beam here. So, okay. Now, uh, let me start to modeling create by key points in active Cartesian so apply for 0 0 and then 0 x 100 y okay then create lines straight line from this point 1 to point 2 okay then go to meshing meshing size control manual line picked line or all lines only one line here okay so let me divide it into 50 elements number of element divisions 50 okay now mesh lines also you can pick or pick all it's only one line so we mesh it already the meshing process is done Okay, now let's go to solution, analysis type, new analysis, static. Okay, here we will identify the solution control in basic. Just select calculate the pre-stress effects. We will apply this static stress first. Okay, let's go to define the loads, apply structural displacement on key points. So this is the key point, fixed end, okay, or degree of freedom, zero value for the displacement, okay, so done. And force from the upper end on key points also, this is the point we apply the force on in y direction, which is minus 10 Newton, okay, so all the uh, loads is defined, already done. So let's go to solve. Okay. Now the solution is done. Okay. Now what we need to do is just finish this step and start again from solution, analysis type, new analysis. Select again buckling. Again buckling, okay. So 
on now analysis options number of modes to extract let me say 10 just to show you the result 10 is better and then for load step options expansion pass single pass expand mode so here number of modes to expand also 10 and the result you will get the idea of the expansion mode expansion okay now all the definition required is done solve it again okay solution is done now let me go to see the results from general post processor result summary we have 10 modes time pair frequencies here done automatically and to read the result start with first set the first set just select first set then go to plot results from deformed shape select deformed and deformed and deformed okay so this is the value of force acting in first mode 0.864 as you can see this is the value of deformation for this now go again to read results next set that means second mode go to plot results again deformed shape deformed and deformed i will just show you this is the second okay so this is the value for the second mode it's different value now let's go to read the results again to see the next set that's been third mode plot results deformed and deformed we will see what happens the buckling has happened here you can see now it's the third mode and if we continue like this read results instead of next or previous we can by pick so we can you can pick from here for example uh, mod 7 read close you will get the plot results you see this is the mod 7 and so on until uh, 10 which we identified previously that's all for this lesson thanks a lot for your attention and see you in the next uh, Listen, thank you very much.